Welcome to the Dreamers Hub podcast. We can be whatever we dream. This podcast is about collaboration between the dreamers and the doers to inspire more people to do more of the things they enjoy doing. When you do what you love, you achieve so much more with your life. So if you're into real people having some raw, unapologetic conversations, let's catch a vibe. Today is your day. And now, Nettie. What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the Dreamers Hub podcast. Yo, I am so excited about this episode because I'm going to take this conversation further than what it was on Instagram. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, yesterday, I kind of took my mind to a dark place and I was, I thought to myself, like, am I the only one that feels this way? I did a couple polls on Instagram and shout out to everybody that, you know, interacts on social media. But basically, the question was when you're going through like downtime or you are giving yourself, you know, just time to like decompress and like reflect like you tend to go to dark places I personally tend to go to dark places not all the time but sometimes I start questioning what I'm doing and if I'm doing if what I'm doing is if there's a purpose for it if I'm on the right journey right I start asking myself these questions now because of all the you know internal work that I've done in the last year year and a half or so I know for me that it's temporary therefore I don't freak out and I know that for some people there there isn't uh enough awareness around um being able to identify that this moment is temporary and this moment is not going to last before you jump back on your feet and you get back on the grind of whatever it is you're doing whether that's work a fitness goal whatever goal you're trying to accomplish and so I kind of wanted to share um, the polls so that way you can kind of see or hear so I asked the question online how does social media affect you right and I put positive or negative 47% of people said positive but 53% of people said negative that's like one that's really close right that's really close but some people in the, um, you know, in the DMs took it a little bit further to explain their answer and whatnot, and I'm going to cover that too, but that's the first poll that I did. As the story continues, I did the second poll, which was, does your mind go to dark places? This is the one that I'm just like, holy shit, we're all the same. Like, so does your mind take you to dark places? Yes or no? Yes was 84% as opposed to no, that was 16%. Meaning these thoughts are crossing 84% of people's minds as far as going to dark places. That to me is like crazy. And the last one, right now, when you're in your thoughts, you start to question all these things. My last question was, do you feel lost sometimes? The options were, yes, it happens. I try not to go there. 92% said, yes, it happens. 8% says, I try not to go there. Now, the idea that we're all on social media, right? It's just a part of life now. But that 80-something percentage is affecting a lot of people, right? I don't have a big following or whatever, but just based off the people that interact or whatnot, like that gives you an idea of how we are impacted by on a, we are impacted on a day to day basis by the things that we uh, follow, like, um, and just see right via the explore page or what people are sharing. We're given so much information all at one time, and I can't help to think that like I question like, damn, we're like, well, why are we on social media if it's affecting us that much? But then I wanted to share some of the um, answers that I got because I thought it was very insightful, and I thought that. And not only did it help me, but I don't want to keep these replies to myself because I feel like it would help somebody out there. And, you know, a lot of the people in the percentages that said, you know, it affects me negatively. Um, yes, I go to dark places. I feel like those people are the ones that I'm connected with because that's how I feel. Granted, not all the time, but I know that, that those are feelings that do that I do come across. And sometimes it's hard to think that you're not alone. But based off this, like, people we are not alone we are all in the same boat we have these thoughts we have you know 
been affected negatively by the things that we see online or whatnot i wanted to dive into you know like going into dark places now for me personally the kind of dark places i go into only really happens when i stand still right when i stand still and i'm not busy or i don't keep myself purposely busy is when i'll like reflect and i'll i'll think to myself you know all these different thoughts but mainly it's a for me personally it's about you know, is what I'm doing worth it? Is what I'm doing going to matter? Is what I'm doing, um, is anybody really paying attention? Is anybody, like, those are the kind of thoughts that I have personally. And sometimes I'll, like, forget, you know what I mean? Like, I have I have screenshots saved from people of uh, them telling me of how I've helped them. And it's crazy because, you know, I get those messages and in that moment, I'm like, oh, my God, I feel worthy of not only that person's time, but I feel worthy of myself being able to give that of myself to somebody that it helped and impacted positively. I forget about it because I'm constantly busy and going on to the next thing and going on to the next thing where I don't even allow myself to enjoy the things that I've accomplished, you know, and it's hard sometimes, especially if you're anything like me, like that constantly has to be on the go. I don't think I have ADHD, but I constantly have to go on to the next thing because I get bored quick. And when I'm not doing that and I sit still, I forget about all these messages that I have. And I forget because I'm like, I'm to me, I'm not doing enough. But that's just because I'm a forward thinker. And I and I constantly have to stay active to like feel like I'm being productive and to feel like I'm doing something with myself and to feel like I'm not just sitting around and bullshitting right like I gave myself this time to really do these things that I enjoy doing and in doing so I then put this pressure on myself where I don't allow myself to really enjoy myself so if you saw me in July on social media I was doing the absolute most trying to enjoy myself right and even while doing so it's so hard as anybody who is just a fucking go-getter a workaholic like it's so hard to enjoy downtime without thinking in the back of your head like damn I kind of feel guilty for not making anything I kind of feel guilty like and that's all self-imposed right and I think for a lot of us it's all these self-imposed pressures that are subconsciously creating via the internet because we're given so much content constantly and you're just like damn for me i look at other people like damn they're really posting every fucking day and i'm just like damn i don't know if i could do that and then i start questioning myself and i'm like well what if what i post is just going to be quality things that i actually want to post right i don't want to force the situation but i'd be lying if i told you that i didn't feel that way and those are the reasons why i go into a dark hole now for other people it could be you know family issues or you know relation failed relationships or it could be all these other things you know people are going through life and you know for those people that go into dark places and for the people that you know mentioned that in the polls like yes it happens at dark places happens like just know that all that is temporary like I just can't like say that enough is like all those feelings are temporary work through those feelings so don't ignore them don't make yourself busy like work through those feelings emotions fear anger imposter syndrome all those things like sit with yourself force yourself to get uncomfortable because it's not until you do so that you'll be able to really really be able to catch yourself before diving into this dark hole and not being able to get yourself out or just taking forever to get yourself out where it's like as long as you are acknowledging and you're feeling like, okay, this is the reason that I'm feeling this way. That's the way I've found it helpful for me to be able to even catch myself before I go so deep that I can't get myself out. And I I wanted to share that because, you know, so many of us are feeling that way. And I want to make sure that I'm able to tell you or explain to you how I get out of it and how I catch myself. So maybe it'll help one person listening to this or watching this, um, to not fall into that you know a lot of people said like damn I didn't realize after I answered the poll that that many people felt that way right which is very interesting because at this point now we're talking about there's more people that know that they're not alone 
about feeling the way that they do you know and obviously on social media not everybody is posting like damn i don't feel good today i don't feel not okay i don't feel okay today like nobody's really posting that unless you're somebody like me because i'll tell you straight up like i don't i don't feel right or something's off or you know i need time i need away time from social media like that's what I use my platform for, right? Because I think it's important to have those conversations and those are necessi- necessary conversations because Instagram is not real. And I've said this before, Instagram is not real, right? It's just, you know, somebody's highlight reel of what's happening of all the good and most people don't post the bad. Because of the polls, I basically ask, is, you know, is social media directly correlated to how you perceive the world, how you perceive yourself? And if so, do you think that you would be much happier off social media. So this is LaJoya's response, and I thought I should share it because I felt like for any creative, um, I felt like this one resonated with me, but for even for just a personal sake or non-creative, right, just person trying to go through life, I feel like this is kind of where we have to acknowledge um, and kind of like uh, make that switch. And she says, what I was saying is that social media can be negative. Sometimes I get caught up in the false reality of others and start comparing myself. That's when I have to realign with my own reality, and if I really need to take a step back, then I'll do so. I think social media is great to connect with humans who can help you on your journey, and for us that create, will help others. Now, let's dissect that for a second, because yes, it could be a great, great place. Social media is, you know, at the end of the day, social media is a business, right? That's what it is, but it's, such a great way to connect uh, because without it, shit, I wouldn't be able to, you know, have this type of conversation online or feel the need to share it if people weren't online. You know, you can you can have social media and use it in two completely different ways. If you are not aware of what social media is and you are just scrolling away, taking in information, that subconsciously stays in your brain right like that person got the new pair of shoes that person got the new yeezys that person got the new whatever hype shoe is at damn this person got a new car damn you know if you're just kind of mindlessly scrolling that information whether you realize it or not is being captured subconsciously so then when you start doubting yourself or start comparing yourself you start thinking about these things like damn well maybe if i get this it'll make me happier Maybe if I buy these new shoes, it'll make me happy. Maybe if I buy this new car, it'll make me happy. Maybe if I change my hair, it'll make me happy. And to some extent, yes, do whatever you have to do to make yourself happy, but realize that those are only temporary fixes to the grand scheme of things, right? You have to identify the fact that that person might have posted it because it's an accomplishment for them and good on them, right? That's amazing. Share share your story, share your accomplishments. I love that. But for the people that aren't aware of the mindless scrolling and how it social media can affect you internally, that's to the people, like to those people, I just want to say like, take a time out because what you are following and what you're watching really affects how you navigate this world. You might not need those new pair of shoes. You don't need another pair of shoes. You probably have enough shoes, right? And I'm just using shoes because that's like the biggest thing right now, right? The the shoe culture is super huge and I love shoes, don't get me wrong. Um, I try not to buy into that, but yeah, it gets me sometimes too. And that's normal, right? We're human. At the end of the day, that's a materialist, that, that's material stuff, right? It's all replaceable and it's not really gonna be as fulfilling as you know, quality time or whatever the case realizing that has been a big uplift in my own mindset and um a big reason why i just don't compare myself i just stop comparing myself to people because it's just not it's not healthy it's not going to go anywhere right and then there's people like myself and other creators that i enjoy following that post you know the not so good days that post like damn today i was battling with this and those are the people that i resonate the most with and and that is like what I want people to resonate with me with because I'm going to talk to you about the not so good days. I'm going to talk to you about shit. I am human. I'm working through a lot of things, right? And I'm doing my best every single day. Is every day perfect? No. Is every day an up? No. Sometimes I have downs. Sometimes they're just moments in a day, right? Like yesterday, which is the whole reason why I even brought this topic up. Like yesterday, I was so high up and then I got time to myself. I showered, I relaxed. 
And then all of a sudden, I just found myself just going like snowballing into like this downward like black hole. And I was like, whoa, let me pull back a little bit because this is like, it's scary sometimes if you don't know how to like catch yourself before you fall into this dark hole. Like, and I feel like people fall into that and it's so hard to get out of. Trust me, I know I've done it before. Like, it's so hard to get out of. But if we're not having these conversations, then we can't normalize this type of conversation. This is a healthy conversation. This is a conversation that needs to be had with your friends, your family members. Like vulnerability is a superpower. Like the minute that you can be like, damn, I'm feeling this way. And you can have that conversation with whoever, right? Whoever you're comfortable with to have that conversation. Like that's a win. And that win needs to be celebrated. And slowly those small wins that you have, like, damn, you start to normalize, like, damn, I'm not the only one that feels this way. I'm not the only one that looks at other things online and like, damn, I'm starting to feel shitty about myself. You know, like it's hard not to do that. Trust me, I know. But realize that you're not alone. Realize that everybody goes through these things. And it's really, really, really up to you to start unfollowing and unsubscribing from not even just online, right? Unfollowing and subscribing, but just unsubscribe from people. Un unfollow and unfriend people that are just not healthy for you. There's so many people that are so toxic because toxicity right now is like the cool thing to do. Like, yeah, you know, memes are funny or whatever, but like that's that's like some people's real life that they're living and can't even identify it as toxic because they're numb to the idea that this is normal and social media is making it look cool. Toxicity is not cool. Unhealthy relationships are not cool. Somebody controlling you is not cool, right? Just like the same way that social media tries to control people to think like, this is what you need to be happy. No, at the end of the day, it's not. You're going to buy those new shoes and then you're going to go on to the next pair of shoes and then the next pair of shoes. You're going to get this new hair and then you're going to do this next hair and then this next hair. Like I am all for people making themselves feel better but let's start internally, people. Internal is the most important because your internal, at the end of the day, like the internal part is what actually comes out of you, right? So to the external, to the external world. If you're ugly inside, people are going to see that at some point. There's only so many pairs of shoes that you can buy. There's only so many pairs of clothes that you can get. Like that, that's not, that's not it. It is not it. And I just, I want to say, and I keep saying shoes, like shout out to everybody that loves shoes, whatever, that's your hobby. That's awesome. I love that. Um, but that's the easiest thing that I can correlate to like the, this feeling of needing, needing and needing, because that's what social media makes you want. It makes you want these things, right? Like that's the job of social media. It's a business. The social media is meant to keep you on the platform for as long as possible. So what do they do? They push out the content that's going to keep you there. And when you're subconsciously scrolling through these things, it just retains in your head. And what's going to happen, right? You go into a page, you look up some shoes, you look up, you know, this shirt, you look up some sunglasses. What's going to happen? Social media is going to remind you like, hey, remember you said you kind of wanted this. Well, I'm going to show this to you constantly. Now, if we look at it from that perspective and you start thinking like, damn, what accounts am I following? You're following, you know, car pages, shoe pages, all that stuff. That's all you're going to get. But now let's say you unfollow that and maybe you just start liking content that's uh, around mental health, content that's around bettering yourself, content around entrepreneurship. That's what you're going to keep seeing. And so depending on how you use social media, yes, it could be negative and it could be positive. Or maybe you just don't give social media that power to affect you in any which way and you're neutral. There, there are some people that have that, right? But any human being is going to fall into one of those categories most of the time. And very, and as we saw in the polls, very few people, less than 20%, said that social media doesn't affect them in a negative way. And I personally feel that social media does play and is a huge impact on how people feel about themselves on how people navigate the world because we correlate likes on the internet to make us feel like yes we're liked more or no we're not liked at all because we're not getting the likes that we think that we should be getting because at the end of the day likes do not equal to real people liking you in real life like that shouldn't even matter right being i think being able to not only have this conversation but you know, even after this episode, if you could take it a step further and analyze and maybe 
you know, take inventory of the things that you're following, the things that you're liking, whether on Facebook, whether on Instagram, whether on uh, TikTok. Those are all algorithms designed for you. So the less that you like of all these materialistic things and things that make you feel like shit about yourself, and the more that you like of the things that make you feel good about yourself and a human again, I think that's where the people that feel that social media affects them negatively can then at that point switch over to have social media have a positive effect. And when social media has a positive effect and you find community within that application, it's a great application, right? Because you can connect with so many people. And that's a major positive for me is being able to have a community of people that I can talk to, of people that I can normalize these feelings that nobody seems to talk about because everybody's so focused on posting all the good stuff and you know at the end of the day for me it's about building community right it's not about the money I'm not making any money doing this shit like I'm just more focused on like damn these are thoughts and ideas that I think about and I just want to put out into the world there's this podcast that I watch uh with Russ um and he said we're all surrounded by other people's ideas And that's huge. For me, I was like, holy shit, that is so true. And it's just like, for me, uh, finding something that's fulfilling in this world has been the most pivotal thing um, to identify for myself is like, what's my purpose, right? And I have, I do know that I have, you know, being able to acknowledge that I have an, an energy about me or an aura about me that I know is, has a positive effect on people and being able to share that is why I do it. And that's a, that's a purpose that I've found for myself that's fulfilling while I'm connecting with everybody on social media. You know, I talk to a bunch of people through the DMs and, and have conversations with people. That's what it's for at the end of the day, right? I just want to make sure that, one, that you're able, when you know, when you're in that dark space and when you know that you're not doing so hot mentally, like, reach out to somebody, send a DM, talk to somebody, like, Those are normal conversations to have. Nobody's going to think like, oh my God, like I don't want to have this conversation because more than likely that person is probably feeling some type of way too. And let's normalize taking breaks off social media. That's totally healthy. I think it's necessary because it's unsustainable to try to keep up with everybody, right? Like in real life, we really don't keep up with people the way we probably should right? Because we have social media. And so we look at it and they're like, ah, they're okay. They're doing fine. They seem like they're doing fine. But really what's behind that curtain, right? That curtain is just all things good on social media. There's so much more depth to people. And when you really sit down and have those conversations with people, you know, I have a really close group of friends that will have vulnerable conversations. And I think that's healthy. I think that's amazing to have that, right? But I know that not everybody else has that type of community around them which is why i want to create this platform to have this conversation because it's healthy it's necessary you know if you need a break disconnect social media is still going to be there everybody's still going to be posting their highlights so when you come back you'll go through that highlight right you'll go through that highlight of what people posted and let's say you're gone for a month in probably 15 minutes you're able to catch up with everybody else so trust me you're not going to miss out on anything It's okay to take that break if you're not okay. Make yourself be okay before you jump back online and be able to identify that, you know, following this person, I'm not about what this person's about. Unfollow him. Unfollow that person. Social media friendships are not always real and they're just kind of just there for the number's sake. Fuck the number, right? If that person is posting things that you're not about, that you can't correlate with, that you can't identify with, then unfollow that person unfollow the toxicity unfollow all those people because if it's fucking with you mentally then it's not worth your peace of mind it's just not worth your peace of mind so it's okay to unfollow people and if you see them around like hey you know what say that say yeah i just not about what you're posting or it's affecting me mentally like mental health is a real thing and so if people have something negative to say about you unfollowing them or them thinking like oh we're not cool because we're not friends on instagram i say fuck that that's not a real friendship anyway so Go about your business. Go about your business, but go about your business in a way that you want, that you can control. Because at at the end of the day, whatever you're subscribed to, whatever you're following, whoever your friends are, whatever you're subscribed to online, those are, that's what you're allowing in. And you're in control and you should be in control about what you're allowing in and what you're not allowing in. Your peace of mind is 
worth a lot more than that one follow. Your peace of mind is worth a lot more than that like. Your peace of mind is worth a lot more than trying to keep up with everybody online. We, we have to be able to create a balance, right, of real life and social media. We have to be able to create that balance for the sake of our mental state. We have to be able to create that balance so that we're not going fucking crazy, you know, because you're not fucking crazy for thinking the way that you're thinking. You're not crazy to think that social media can negatively impact you if you're not using it properly. I sometimes I, I think about like, damn, like if I'm an adult and I struggle with social media and I den- like I'm able to like step back and be like, whoa, this is a business, right? Like, let me just take a step back and let me just like whoosh, shake this off this feeling. I can't imagine for the new generation that didn't grow up with having no Internet, right? People that have only grown up with knowing what the Internet is like those those kids like that's what i'm scared about like damn being a kid and dealing with social media the way it's impacting us even as adults to think that somebody who's so impressionable is going to be dealing with these same emotions at such a young age it's a scary thought but it's also a very a very much realistic thing that's happening right now is how do you keep a balance of you yourself not being online all the time, but also implementing that in your children so that way they don't grow up with all these um, issues of comparing and, uh, you know, not being able to socialize in person, like not have, like there's so many kids that go through that kind of thing. And I've seen it, you know, like it's just, it's crazy to think like, how can I expect, you know, somebody who's eight years old or somebody who's, you know, 13 years old to like, understand that this life on social media is not real and everything that people are posting it's all either because they're getting paid you know it's it's a business how do we expect that to spread amongst our children or the younger generation it's like no we have to we have to be able to identify that downtime is necessary and connecting with nature is necessary and you know learning that what you follow and what you subscribe to really does affect and impact your perception of yourself and your perception of the world as is let's talk about some solutions to some of these issues with social media is right like besides you know completely disconnecting you know there's so many things that you could essentially do to try to help right limit the time that you're on social media um obviously unfollow and unsubscribe off certain people that don't make you feel good about yourself on social media um you know have a shut off switch for everybody you the family where there's no screen time you know and maybe put implement certain routines or habits um that are going to help you better yourself better your mental health whether that's you know being physical and working out um prior to jumping on social media or waiting to get on social media prior to you know an early morning routine or um you know me- maybe reading a chapter of a book um get into books uh, audiobooks, um, something to supplement just not being on social media for so long or long periods of time. Being able to set timers maybe for yourself, right? Um, I, I was talking to somebody on, on online, and it's like being able to, you know, shut yourself off. You have restrictions on an iPhone that you can set for yourself or your kids um, to completely log off, you know, for the time being. And, you know, normalizing better habits and normalizing other things that you can get into essentially to substitute so much time on social media so those are just some of the solutions that we came up uh, that we came up collectively with right about you know just even starting this topic like those are things that are okay to do those are things that you can do to implement a healthier relationship with social media so anyway that's that's the overall scheme of things i hope i hope that this helps anybody feeling some type of way about social media or feeling on the fence about disconnecting from social media if that's what it takes for you to be okay then please do so please take care of yourself please prioritize your mental health that is healthier we're all going to be here when you get back i myself am planning on taking you know a 30-day hiatus of social media because i need it ultimately that's going to be a decision that you have to make it but just know that everybody feels this way everybody has these thoughts come across 
Um, everybody goes to these dark places, so you're definitely not alone. Understand, acknowledge, and identify the things that you're subscribed to, the things that you are following, the things that you see on a regular basis that aren't helping you or that are making you feel like shit. Uh, make adjustments, course correct, because at the end of the day, this is for you, right? Social media is going to be what you want it to make it to be. So please prioritize whatever your healthy mental state is going to allow in and make sure to just course correct those things or unfollow whatever it is um, or completely disconnect if that's what's going to make you happy at the end of the day. Your happiness should come from within, not from external. And I think once you identify the things that are making you feel like shit internally, then you'll start feeling better externally. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate everybody that chimed in on this conversation and for us to be able to share this together, share this moment, share this thought. Um, it means the world to me to be able to have this platform and be able to talk to you about real life shit because materialistic things, they can always be replaced, but people cannot be replaced. And you are important. Your presence is important. Your existence is important. So whatever it is you got to do to take care of yourself, please do so. Thank you so much. Hold up. One more thing. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Dreamers Hub podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and share with the real ones in your life. Be sure to tune in to more inspirational content next week. Peace.